Thanks for joining me on this bead weaving project. Take a look at the materials in the list below and gather everything you need to get started. The first thing we're going to do to make our charm bracelet is to make one of the charms that is a bezeled 8mm Rivoli. You can see here that I have one started and this one's actually almost finished. On the back here of the Rivoli, I have a set of uh, silver seed beads here and then I've got some gold ones on the side and then back to silver on the top. The back here has uh, 16 of these silver seed beads and I have those 16 silver seed beads here already strung on my thread. So to start this out, you're going to start with the stop bead and you can use the stop bead as part of your project. So you can include that stop bead in your set of 16. Here in my thread, like I said, I have that stop bead, and then I have an additional 15, 15 O's for my set of 16 seed beads. Once I have my 16, 15 O seed beads on my thread, I'm going to take my needle and thread, and I'm going to start at the end here where I have my stop bead, and I'm gonna pass my needle and thread through the first four beads. We're always going to use these silver seed beads in groups of four. So whenever you pass through one, you're really going to be passing through the whole set of four. And what we're going to establish is sides to the bezel. Each side will have four seed beads. So four seed beads and four sides get you that 16 seed beads. Once I pass through my first set of four seed beads, and yeah, they can be very difficult to see when they're this small and shiny. So double check yourself there and make sure that you've got uh, your thread and needle going through four seed beads. And now I'm gonna switch over to my alternate color. So I'm using silver and gold here. You can, of course, use any colors that you want to. Mine here are going to be silver and gold. So coming out of my last silver bead, I'm going to pick up seven of my gold beads. Once you have those seven gold beads on your thread, you're gonna let them fall down to the rest of your project here. And we're going to take these beads, take, use our needle and thread, and we're going to sew back up through those four silver beads in the same direction that we just passed through. I'm taking my needle here and starting with that stop bead, passing just through those four silver seed beads that I just passed through before picking up my gold beads. And what that will do, we'll just pull those gold beads just to sit on the outside of what will be my base here for my bezel. So on the outside of each side to my bezel, I'm going to add this little wing of seven gold seed beads. I'm going to pass on here, pass and move on to the next side to my bezel. So I'm going to pass through the next four silver seed beads. And you can see that this is already starting to form a bit of a square. Uh, you're going to start seeing some edges here so it doesn't look so circular. Uh, you'll start to see those edges. Coming out of that fourth seed bead, I'm going to again pick up my seven gold seed beads. There's my seven gold seed beads. Let those fall down to the project. And then I'm going to pass again through those four silver seed beads that form the side to the bezel. And pull that tight. You don't have to pull too tight but just pull it tight enough that you don't have any slack. And I'm gonna rotate the project here a little bit and continue on to the next side of that bezel. And I'm gonna continue and do the same steps again, 
to add that little wing of seven seed beads to the outside here. I'm going to do it once and then once again. So I have a total of uh, four of those little gold wings on the outside of my bezel here. Once I've added the second and the third, uh, really this is the third and the fourth, <laughs> once I add the third and the fourth of these little gold wings here, I'm going to start cinching it up and making it um, into a little bit more of a bezel shape where you can see how it'll actually start to hold a rivoli. I've now added the fourth and last set of seven seed beads that I needed to add. And I'm going to continue and pass through. I'm coming out of one of my sets of four seed beads here in the center. And I'm gonna pass through the next. I like to pass through one more set of four here, and this will be just where I started, where I've added my first set of seven seed beads. I wanna pass through there just to pull everything tight and to make sure that this center section is really like a nice square and I don't have any slack in my thread. So coming out here, coming out of my silver beads, the beads here in the center, I'm going to pass through the first four of my seven seed beads on the outside. So once I pass through that fourth seed bead, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to flip my project here. Um, I'm going to work counterclockwise here. It's more comfortable for me. Uh, I'm going to pick up four of my silver seed beads, my silver 15 O's, and I'm going to use these silver 15 O's to connect the center fourth seed bead to the next fourth or center seed bead in this little um, set of seven seed beads here. So I'm just gonna continue here going counterclockwise. I've added my four seed beads and I'm just gonna pass through that center seed bead in the set of gold seed beads. And as you do this, you'll notice that the seed beads your seven seed beads here are gonna start to pull up on the side so your design here will become three-dimensional. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling it upwards toward you so they're all coming upwards in the same direction. I'm gonna pick up another four seed beads and pass through the center seed bead of the next set of seven. Again, pulling that up so everything is facing the same direction. And another four seed beads. Pass through that center seed bead. And now I have one more set of four seed beads here to go. And through that last center seed bead and I'm back to the beginning. So now before I pull this real tight, I'm going to get my Rivoli. So I'm gonna get my little eight millimeter Rivoli here, and I'm gonna plop him down in the center. And you wanna hold that down and give your thread a nice little tug. And you want the, th the edges of your bezel to come up and wrap around and over the edges of your Rivoli. I'm gonna pass through all my beads again, all the beads that were this top part of my Rivoli. So all the beads I passed through in this past step that I did. And all this is going to do is just reinforce the bezel, pull all the seed beads together so we don't have any slack, and the design is nice and tight so that my bezel doesn't pop out. So go ahead and reinforce this, and then we will talk about how to add this to our charm bracelet. The simplest way to take this charm and make it a functional charm that we can hang off of our bracelet is to simply add a wire guard. 
Here I have my charm, and here's the front of my charm. On the side here, if I hold it on the side, kind of like I'm eating it like a little cheeseburger, <laughs> you're gonna see this V shape here of your gold seed beads. Wherever your thread and needle is, you're gonna make sure that you're bringing that thread needle close to the gold seed beads. And I'm going to work with just one side here, one of these V's of seed beads. I'm going to pass down through three of those seed beads on the right. And then I'm going to go up through one of those seed beads on the left. I'm gonna pick up one more seed bead here, because I always like to have a little seed bead uh, before my wire guard. And then I'm gonna pick up my wire guard, and you're gonna pick it up just through one side of that U. And let that fall down to your project. Take your needle and thread and go down through the other side of that wire guard. Pick up another seed bead. And now before we completely finish this, we want to make sure that we're attaching it to our bracelet. So we're going to decide where on our bracelet we want to attach our charm. I'm going to go for roughly in the middle here. So I'm going to take my needle and thread through one of these links in my chain. And as I pull that through, you'll see that my wire guard is allowing that, um, that link to just sit right inside. So once I'm sure that I have that secure and, that's, and that is in place, I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to go back down through my gold seed bead on the right of that V. So just the seed bead directly sitting next to the seed bead where I came out and first added my wire guard. So now on the back side of my project here, you'll see I have after each side of my wire guard at the end of each side here, I have two of my gold seed beads and I'm just gonna go back and forth here, up one side and down the other, through that wire guard, making sure to keep the thread in that little trough of the wire guard. And down through the other side here, through my two gold seed beads. And I'll do this one more time, just up and down through that wire guard. And this will just reinforce it since this is where your bracelet, your little charm will get the most wear and tear, where it will be dangling, it will be hanging and swinging. And you wanna make sure that you give it, give it some nice reinforcement there. So once you have that reinforced, I'm gonna to flip to the front here and throw my beads around. <laughs> And you can see here, once I get things, once I kind of get this thread out of the way. So now you can see this is how my little charm will be hanging on my finished bracelet. Now I can further embellish this if I want. I can add um, fringe, I can add bicones, I can do all kinds of things to further embellish this. But um, this is the most basic that you can make it. Uh, which, as I said, is really not basic at all. It's quite lovely, beautiful little stitch there, um, but again, just kind of a building block that you can also build off of embellish to if you want to. So I'm gonna tie this guy off here and burn down my thread and show you a couple other options for making some charms. I'm gonna show you another option if you want to take this bezel that we just created and you want to embellish it and make it a little bit bigger. 
So coming out of my silver seed beads here at the top, I'm going to pass through that center gold seed bead in that set of seven that I used on the side here. And so I'm going to use that center gold seed bead. I'm going to use all of them on all four of the corners here of my silver box or silver square. So going through that first, um, first gold seed bead, I'm going to pick up one more of my gold seed beads and then I'm going to use some of my bicones. It's a little bit difficult to see the bicones, so if you have something like a very light color bead, sometimes it helps to put it on a slightly different, um, slightly darker surface, and then it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. So I'm going to pick up one of my uh, 15 seed beads, and I'm going to pick up one of my bicones and then another 15-0 seed bead. I have here my 15-0, my bicone, and my 15-0. And then I'm going to pass through that next center bead, my next center gold bead, at the corner here of my silver square. And I'm gonna continue around here adding that bicone to all four sides of my bezel. I have a 15, a bicone, and a 15, and I'm going to pass through the next center 15 -o. So you can see I've got that on two sides now. I'm gonna continue and do that on the other two sides here, and then I'm gonna continue by adding a little something to the bottom to give that a little bit more structure. Now that I've added the four crystals to the edges of my bezel, I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna work on the underside here, underneath these four millimeter bicones and connecting these bicones to my original set of 16 seed beads here. And this is just gonna give it a little bit more structure. Uh, it will make it a little stiffer and just stop, uh, just make it a tighter design all around. So I want my needle and thread to be coming out of one of my four millimeter bind cones. And I'm going to pick up three 15 seed beads. I'm going to let these seed beads fall down to the project until they hit the bicone there. And then I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm going to pass through one of the sides or one of the sides here of that original square that um, I made when I first created the bezel. This was my first step here, was picking up these 16 seed beads and making that square. So I'm passing through one of the sides of that box. And you wanna pass through the side of the box that is directly next to or closest to the side of the crystal where you're coming out. Pick up three more of those 15 seed beads. And then you're gonna go up and pass through that, through that four millimeter bicone Again, closest to where your thread was originally coming out. So I'm coming out of those four seed beads, and then I'm just going through the bicone right directly on top of it through the hole that's right there. I'm going to pick up four more, or sorry, two more, two more of my 15 0 seed beads, and now I'm going to share the third seed bead, the third seed bead here, so this is the uh, seed bead farthest away from the bicone. I'm gonna share that seed bead and I'm gonna pass my needle and thread through that third seed bead. And what that will do will bring the two, the set of two seed beads on one side of the bicone 
and a set of two seed beads on the other side of the bicone together. And give that a nice little tight pull. And then I have that other uh, seed bead hanging out here at the bottom that I shared. I'm going to continue and pass through the next side of the bicone or of the square here at the base of my bezel. Pick up three of my seed beads and I'm going to pass through the bicone right on top. Come through that bicone. Pick up two 11 O seed beads, sorry, 15 O seed beads, and pass through the 15 O closest to the bottom of my bezel. And once I do that again, you'll see I have two 15 O's on one side, two 15 O's on the other, creating a little V shape under that bicone. I'm going to continue here through the next, through that next side of the square. And again, repeating these same steps, I'm going to pick up three 15 O's through the bicone. Two 15 O's through the third and share that third 15 O. And through the next side of the square, through those next four seed beads. So here I'm back where I started. I just need to add the other side of my V here underneath the bicone. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to pass up through that first seed bead that's going to form that V. So this is a seed bead that I'm going to share. I need those two more seed beads. And I'm going to pass through the bicone to complete that V. So here I have the V of two seed beads on one side, two on the other, and below here is that is that one seed bead that I shared. Now I'm going to go back through here and just reinforce this and this will help to pull everything tight. Just kind of backtracking or forward tracking through all of those beads again. Now if you got it really tight the first time you don't have to do this but I like to go back through and just make sure that I have everything nice and tight Pull all those beads closer together and make sure that I have everything sitting and aligning the way that I want it to. And once I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and add a wire guard to this. And then that will be the end of this particular little charm. So I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening things up and then I'm going to add my wire guard. The last thing for me to do is to add my wire guard and attach to my bracelet. So I've added the wire guard here in the exact same way that I did on the previous charm, but I will show, uh, share with you here my count. I have picked up two 15 O's, my wire guard, and another two 15 O's. So on the other charm, I had only picked up one 15 O here I'm picking up two 15 O's. I'm coming out of one side of my crystal. And so to get that wire guard sitting on top of the crystal and to have it centered, you're gonna want two 15 O's to give it that little bit of space. So again, here, before we finish this, I'm going to find a spot on my charm bracelet here where I'd like to add this. So I'm gonna put it here between these two other little hearts and just go through one of my links. Pass through my crystal. So I started by passing through the crystal 
I picked up two 15 O's, my wire guard, two 15 O's, and now I went back through the crystal. I'm going to reinforce this again and pass through just following the same thread path just as we did on the other charm and making sure that anytime our thread doesn't sit directly in that little trough that we correct it and back through the crystal and now I'm going to do this a third time here just to make sure it is definitely reinforced here up through one side down through the other making sure that thread falls in the trough there and through my crystal so now all I have to do is tie my thread ends off so I will trace my thread path until I get to uh, where the other end of my thread is and then I will tie those thread ends together and burn them down. So you can see here I've actually been quite busy off camera. I made a few other charms and I also used this simple little Delica tiny heart charm to embellish and to add in between my larger little chunkier charms. So you're gonna to wanna to check out this little um, Delica heart charm, this tiny heart charm, and make a number of these. I have them in one color, which I like. You can do them in a whole bunch of different colors if you'd like to, and add those on as well, attaching them with the wire guards in the exact same way that we attached all of our other charms. I hope you enjoyed making this project as much as I did. If you're interested in more tutorials from us, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you're notified as soon as we put out new videos.